Hello and welcome to In The Hyperloop, my name is Blake. First, we're starting off with HTT. Congratulations on their reveal for their pod. It's been five years coming and it's over 100 feet long and it's about five tons. It's gonna be shipped to Toulouse, France where it'll be outfitted into the tube, but an amazing accomplishment for HTT and a couple of articles that I want to highlight regarding this reveal um, is the CNBC article. It really gets down to the interview with, with Dirk, the CEO of HTT, and really kind of gets to safety requirements that um, this other article, CNN from CNN Travel, um, also explains, and just kind of really interesting information on what it took to get this developed and where they want to go. Of course, this Wired article also explains, you know, what is happening, why is this important, and really how the hype has died down. However, many of these companies are still working really hard on engineering problems. HTT had a great little one minute video that you can watch on their Twitter account. And they also released their two minute long video explaining their pod, their mission. It really brings up a lot about sustainability as well in this video um, and their technology of how it'll be solar powered. So we'll be closely monitoring any new videos that HTT produces. But moving on to another company, um, Transpod from Canada um, found a ally in um, Thailand. And it's really interesting to see the interplay between groups that are not necessarily in the government, but also want different transportation technologies in a country. And this is one such example um, it really goes into, and this Bloomberg article really goes into, you know, how it might work as compared to high-speed rail, and I would highly recommend you check it out. Going on the opposite spectrum, the Daily Star had a really interesting article about a new startup um, that is ferrying small packets of goods between delivery centers. It's called Magway. And this is their homepage. They have a really fascinating video that I'm going to show now. Cutting edge of this revolution. Having developed the most game changing goods and parcels transport system in the world, utilizing existing pipe technologies with our world renowned experience of magnetic motors. So it's a system that will pretty much like Hyperloop. Above ground for a pipe network. Connecting very distribution small. centers to consolidation centers, targeting the market for logistics, especially e-commerce, parcel and grocery delivery. I think e-commerce is the With main thing. the second between carriages, efficiency and reliability is ensured. Easy integration to existing facilities, high bandwidth across the country, 24-7, to meet an ever-increasing urban demand. Autonomous transit, sustainable infrastructure, with zero emissions, improved air quality, reduced congestion, less packaging, fewer road accidents, or weather, making better use of space, creating opportunities for denser, more vertical, residential and commercial development, improved customer service, efficient, predictable, saving costs in operations, saving costs in capital investments. So they're definitely highlighting a lot of the reasons why their system that is small for the UK um, and for the rest of the world. Delivering faster for a better tomorrow. Delivering the future today. I think it's really interesting. We've heard other uh, national research institutes like Sentef in Norway um, that look into very, very small diameter tubes that you could fit Hyperloop pods in. Um, the Norwegian example is sending salmon in the uh, Hyperloop pods uh, to airport logistics centers so you don't have to have big lorries um, going over mountain passes. But I think this is a great example of another use of Hyperloop technology or magnetic levitation pods um, going really fast under the ground in a tube. 
Um, these tubes uh, are built all the time to um, you know, have big power transformers and wires going underneath cities. Um, so it's really a well-known, easy, very cheap technology. You don't need many people to build these tubes. So I think it's just a fascinating um, company and I can't wait to interview them. So if you're listening, Magway, uh, I'd be happy to learn more about your product and your, and your solution for high capacity delivery. So next is a Hyperloop One inspired uh, article. Turns out um, in Pennsylvania, there is a house resolution number 1057 and the representative um, put forth this to study Hyperloop between Pittsburgh and Philadelphia. And this is an incredibly good article on planphilly.com. Really goes in, in depth on with the legislator, but also with other groups that are opposed to this um, or have questions about it. Um, really highly recommend, you know, an Accelera like train, high speed rail train. Um, between Philadelphia and Pittsburgh was expected to be around $38 billion. So there's a lot of politics in this uh, use case example, but it's a great article outline uh, just what it could do um, as a different modes of transport along the eastern seaboard. So next we're going to go to Medium, and this is Heart Hyperloop, um, an article about uh, drilling and how their partners are really interested in mining and tunneling and how much expertise they have and how they want to support the Netherlands um, in being kind of the epicenter for trade and commerce. Um, really interesting article again. Um, we haven't heard that much about the development of Hart's um, test facilities, but in this article it does say that they still are wanting to build it um, you know, at a minimum cost, but in such a way that can be useful for multifunctional testing. Um, this is so Dutch to have it be multifunctional. Um, really interesting article. I'd highly recommend you, you check out this Heart article in the description. Another video from Zelleros. Um, we're going to listen in. We have created a world of unlimited possibilities. Whether you are in Beijing, Barcelona, or New York, and we've Zelleros been given is the power to choose. Southern you can choose your jacket, choose Spanish your phone, live in a city, live in a town, group. go out with your friends or meet up with someone, set up a business or work at home, be a rocket scientist or a famous novelist, support your party, his party, their party, mobilize yourself, shout for your rights. But among all this exciting sea of possibilities, there's always one precious thing that is always missing. Time is exactly what we are missing, and we are going to recover it. Think of when you wait for the next train, when your flight gets delayed, and when you're stuck in traffic trying to come home. So it's Look, really human-centered. It is a new means of transportation that empowers citizens and businesses bringing us back our most valuable thing in life. This is Hyperloop, an all-electric, zero emissions, autonomous transport system that combines the speed of a plane with the frequency of a metro. This sounds kind of like paradigm in mobility, the Arrivo connectivity, promotional material. Modality to connect the world in a matter of minutes. And best of all is it's happening now. At Theridos, we are developing the future of transportation by combining a powerful team with a network of key industry leaders with the objective of simplifying infrastructure. By developing a vehicle that is fully autonomous, we are able to outperform any other current transport systems in cost and energy efficiency by achieving speeds above 1,000 km an hour with renewable sources. With active magnetic levitation systems and a disruptive aerodynamic propulsion, you can have a passive infrastructure which leads into lower costs and easier maintenance. Spain is a reference in railway innovation, and Hyperloop is the backbone of the next transport revolution, boosting competitiveness and generating value. The time is now. So this is great. Zaros um, is still in the game. 
they're working really hard to develop their economic and technological chops. Um, of course, this was a spin out from a university team and Hyperloop UPV. And, you know, just really interesting to see uh, their work and um, their continued, you know, striving for uh, a European Hyperloop. So, next and final, this is another heart. Uh, video, but they had a summit, and this is kind of the, the summary after video. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the world's first edition of the Hyper Summit. The way you can travel right now to Amsterdam in 15 minutes, you will be able to do so to go to Dusseldorf. With the Hyperloop technology, we could bring people quite faster from A to Z. It has a huge potential for the world, for the people there living. Our company is one of the leading companies in the field of mobility, so we have to be part of the future of the Hyperloop. We really need to look into alternative ways of transport, so ground transport like the Hyperloop will give an answer. One of the many solutions that we could use to uh, find a, uh, yeah, an answer to global challenges. Unstudio is the one uh, group yeah, that worked with Hart with in releasing renders for their subject matter hyperloop really stations try to, to go forward and really try to do something innovative people that are really excited and all working towards the same goal of having this hyperloop realized one company cannot do this alone one country can cannot do this alone we are approaching this together we are going for it together and we are going to make it happen together if we do not act now and start to jointly work together it will never happen because doing nothing is not a solution Awesome. And on that, uh, we're going to conclude today, but stay in the loop and stay following uh, this channel and subscribe. And uh, good job all the Hyperloop teams, including a Hyperloop TT on their new pod. So stay in the loop.